Julia. I wanted to share with you this week a design that I had made up oh several years ago and I used to put it on sweatshirts and different Christmas items and different winter items but I thought I would do it up and put it in a pattern that I have available in my Etsy store and I will link that down below for you and then also it, it basically has some just basic instructions on it and the and then the design and then I also made some kits for you and I wa wanted to put those in my Etsy store as well and the kit is for an 11 by an 11 inch panel and now I turned mine into a pillow the pillow is about 10 by 10 or you could do that 11 by 11 into maybe add borders on it and put it on into a quilt block or a, a, some kind of mini art hanging uh, I thought you might enjoy this. I'm really still working on just doing more hand stitching and there is quite a bit of hand stitching in this but again like I'm a beginner and so it's just kind of beginner stuff. Um, and also I did machine um, sew the, the background first. And I'm going to go over that in this video. How I did the background and then how I did the little pieces. Um, but for the kit, I have everything together for the background. I do have a little piece of, of freezer paper that I stuck in here. A lot of people have freezer paper, but I somehow ended up with two big boxes. So I thought I'm just going to cut a little piece of freezer paper so it's convenient for you. We do use this to trace the applique pieces and cut out. I do have different wools in here for some of the applique pieces um, for the little snowman and also for the sign. So I have those applique pieces in here, the thread needed, and also just some, some bunch of little accessories that I used in here. I do have three different stamped images. Um, this one says peace and then, then the little cardinal and then also the snowflake. That's included in this kit. I used some jute for the snowman's arms and that's included. Some of the lace and trims that I added to the snow is included. Um, and some beads and buttons and just all sorts of fun things to work with. Now I 100% believe that a slow stitching kit is something that um, you can just take your time with and just use your own creativity in it and so I mean I've given you some ideas and I'll give you ideas how I did it and but if you purchase the kit I mean just it's just a foundation you can just do whatever you want or maybe add some of your own pieces and your own fabrics and just make it your own I hope you enjoy this everybody I'll have the links down in the description for just the just the pattern itself which would be in a PDF or it'll be um, just sent to you on your email or if you want the kit I'll have that link down below as well and that'll be in my Etsy store both will be in my Etsy store um, I hope you enjoy this let's get started I'm going to start building my background I have my base piece there and then I'm going to just add that blue plaid to the front and then there's just a bunch of natural colored or neutrals in the kit and I'm just going to rip pieces of it and just continue to layer just to give it a layered snow look. I wanted to mention, I may have forgotten to mention this earlier, that the pattern is included in the kit so you do not have to purchase the pattern separate. That is all included. I did add some of that lace to my snow scene. I'm just going to add some pins here and there just to keep it secure and I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I am going to machine stitch this. You can also hand stitch it. If you hand stitch it you might not have enough thread that I provided in the kit just to let you know you might want to use your own for that. Um, I'm going to be putting this on with my walking foot and just going to be doing some straight stitches going all the way across a little bit of a wavy stitch catching all the pieces and catching the edges. I'm traveling on the sides so I don't have to break my thread. And then I'm going to stitch this plaid as well. I wanted to add some of my design stitches or my um, decorative stitches. This is my one of my favorites is that little cross stitch. And then I'm also adding some free motion zigzag just to cover those edges a little bit. 
This is all optional. You can create your background however you want to. You can add more decorative stitches, just whatever you want to do. Lots of stitches. There's a close up of that. And my background is done. And now it's on to building the, appl the appliques. I have my freezer paper waxed down and I'm tracing those pieces. And then I'm gonna iron those on the front side of my fabrics. This is a black wool blend. And then I'll be cutting these out right on the line. Many times I use a paperback adhesive for my applique work and I put that on the back of my fabrics. I don't like it when I do hand stitching. It's just hard to pull the needle through. That's why I prefer just using this freezer paper method. And that freezer paper is in your kit. On to making the nose and the, and the snowman and the mittens. Doing the same way. And then I'm gonna do this sign. The sign, I, I, I provided the fabrics and it's just a, a piece of fabric that you can see through. I wanna be able to see that, those words. So I traced those out on my freezer paper the same way and adding it to the top of the, my fabric. And then we'll be cutting this out. Same with the post. The post, the fabric that I provided for the post looks like, almost looks like wood. I just thought it was kind of fun. Just adding that to the front side of my, my fabric and then cutting out. And now I'm taking just a pencil and I am outlining those words. Now you can also use a fabric pen. I'm using pencil because I am going to stitch these on just with my embroidery thread. Just building my design now, just figuring out how I want everything to lay. Just using my template as a guide. Just want to get that nose in the right position, making getting all that paper off. At this time, I am not gonna be putting the mittens on. I'm going to stitch everything down first and then I'll add, I will add those mittens in a little bit. I do have some stamped images that I'm gonna add. The snowflake I'm putting up on top and this little cardinal bird I'm putting down by the sign. And then I have the word peace that I'm gonna lay down in part of the snow. Adding some pins. I will be slow stitching these all on. I'm using a whip stitch or like a blanket stitch to, to stitch down the wool. And then some of these other pieces, I'm just gonna do a running stitch and then just add just random stitches throughout the snow as well. And then I have this little piece of a lace motif that I'm gonna stick in there. My, my heat erase pens, I'm just going to add the mouth. I'll be stitching this on with a running stitch and then adding the eyes with the French knot. And here's what it looks like. I've got those that face on. I did some stitching with the blue thread on the snowflake and then added my words with stitching and then some running stitches. I did some running stitches on that post and then to outline my, my little stamped images. Just whip stitch that little motif down. You can put as much or as little of the hand stitching on as you want. It's just so much fun to do. Now for the little arms, I'm just cutting the desired amount of this jute. Oh, and to mention that jute is washable. If anybody wonders that, I used to put it on a lot of my sweatshirt designs. I used to add jute quite a bit. It has a real organic look to it. I'm using my heat erase pens again and I'm going to just draw that string that holds those mittens on. 
We'll be putting some buttons on this snowman. You can also use some of the black felt if you don't want to put the buttons on. And then there's this pine branch in his hat. I'm going to stitch that on with the green thread. Add some little beads, glass beads, to that little design on his hat. And then I've got just a bunch of these little cream colored be or beads, cream and silver, I believe I have both. And I'm just going to scatter those on the background and also that snowflake. And here it's finished. I did put it mine into a little pillow which measures about 10 by 10. Just really cute in a basket or a shelf. You can see some of the details on that. The back I just did, a, a, it was an already quilted coverlet that I had picked up at the flea market. I hope you enjoyed this everybody. Here's some more pictures at the end of some details of it. It was a fun project to do. Thank you so much everybody who's watching. Bye for now.